Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Investment Time with the Twins. In this video, my twin brother and I discuss our favorite investing quote and reveal our financial goals for the next three years. Watch the video until the end and tell us what do you think of our financial goals. Before we dive into this video, we wanted to wish our Canadian viewers a happy Canada Day. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and share the video with someone who might benefit from it. Thank you and as we Canadians like to say, sorry. Let's move on to the next question, which was asked by some of our followers with regards to the best investment advice that you have heard. What would that be for you? Wonderful. The one quote that comes to my mind is from uh, the genius of investing, Warren Buffett. And he says, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. And this really sticks with me because uh, it really is about knowing the company and the business that you're investing in. And if you think that that's a quality business to support and to get involved in, in terms of investing, um, you don't have to always wait for the perfect price. It doesn't mean that you have to always wait for the company to be almost trash in terms of the stock value. And instead you might identify what would be the right price and the fair price to purchase it, uh, to buy into that stock and then hold on to that for the longest. And this has been actually the approach that Warren Buffett has for the most part. Uh, he's uh, more of a value investor where he identifies quality companies and buys their stocks at a fair value and then holds on to them. He collects the dividend income and of course the appreciation of the stock. So that's been um, the, sh the quote that has resonated with me the most. Whether I've been following this along the way or not, I would say as I've become a little bit more and more uh, mature investor and over time as I learn more, I've been getting into that and I've been trying to uh, learn uh, about the companies I invest in and uh, do my research. That's great. Uh, as for me, the best investment advice that I've heard has been by Benjamin Franklin, who once said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And I think personally, that's so true when it comes to you know investing uh nothing will pay off more than educating yourself and i think it's very important for us to always educate ourselves do the necessary you know research and analysis before getting into any investment decisions uh, whether or not i have been following that advice i think i have and i've started to uh you know over the course of the past couple of years and I am as I'm getting more and more mature when it comes to investing to do much more research and to make much more informed decision before getting myself stuck into any uh, investments of any kind. So lastly, the exciting bit, which is about the financial goals for the next three years. That's an excellent question. And uh, the one that I definitely uh, keep an eye on. So in fact, for me, uh, planning is uh, very crucial. You want to always have uh, also some targets and along the way um, determine what are those key milestones that you want to hit uh, to get you to the final destination that you have. And it's kind of your uh, compass uh, ensuring that uh, you're on the right track. So speaking of the next three years, uh, what are those financial goals that I have? I'm going to break it down into two parts. One is from the point of the stock market investing, and the other one will be from perhaps more of an alternative investing approaches. And these two might somehow overlap as well, because depending on your alternative investing choices, you might have to kind of cash out and depend on some of your funds from uh, your stock market investing to be able to uh, sustain and support your uh, other investment. Well, as for the stock market investing, uh, my goal is within the next three years to be able to uh, double my current uh, assets invested in the stock market. So that's a lofty goal, but I think uh, knowing the position that I currently have, uh, because it's absolutely crucial, it's your denominator. Uh, from here onwards, I should be able to hopefully double the amount of money I've invested in the stock market. Um, and second piece is for alternative investing approaches. I would also love to get into the real estate. Uh, that's also an area that I've done some research on. And I know it's also uh, an area where you can use the power of leverage to your advantage and grow your wealth even more. Um, so this is an, another area that I'm uh, keeping an eye on and hopefully wanted to uh, get involved with a little bit more. How about you? That's great. Um... I think we are similar in a way that my uh, financial targets and goals for the next three years are kind of similar to what you mentioned, Mo. Over the next three years, I'm planning to continue, you know, gradually growing the size of my investment portfolio in the stock market. 
But at the same time, I would like to you know, start diversifying my investments through actively uh, taking part in you know, real estate investing. And what I mean by that is uh, you know, being involved in you know, uh, rental properties and things of that nature. I've been doing uh, a lot of research around that. And my plan is that within the next two years, I would want to achieve that goal for sure. That's so wonderful. I think uh, we have very three exciting years ahead of us. For sure. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. And feel free to share this video and other helpful ones with your friends and colleagues who might also benefit from this channel. Thanks again, and we really hope to see you soon. Thanks, everyone, and see you next time. Thank you.